How's she going boys? We're back in Grand Peace Workshop today and welcome back to the shop. We have a little project today. Uh, it's just an experimental thing that I'm trying. <clears throat> uh, I have a little tractor of course, a uh, Massey Ferguson GC2300. She's a beast. you got to admit it, she's a beast. But uh, I recently got a landscape rake for it. And uh, I also have a box blade and a snowblower. And they all go on the three-point hitch at the back. The issue that I'm having is with this little tractor, there's no, you can't set the draft. It either goes down or it comes up. You can adjust where it stops. So like if you're lowering the three-point down, you can say stop now and you can stop it and it'll stay there. But you can't set that point, so you can't repeat it. Uh, one of the issues I have when I'm snow blowing is... Sometimes, because we live on a gravel road and rocks around and everything, you don't want the snowblower right down on grade. You want it just a little bit above so that you don't pick up any rocks and smash up your snowblower. So I like to lower it down, you know, just about an inch or so off the ground, plow away the bulk of the snow, and then I can turn around with my blade push the rest of it away. So that's not a big deal. But sometimes it's hard to adjust it just to be the right proper height off the ground. Uh, now I've run into the same issue with my box blade. Uh, what I, the main reason I bought my box blade was to sort of maintain my driveway and make sure the potholes stay away and so on. Uh, but I find my driveway dips down and then back up again to the road. And uh, because the box blade is hanging off the end of the tractor, when the front of the tractor goes up, the box blade goes down and vice versa. So what happens is it makes waves in my driveway because, of course, there's potholes in the driveway. That's why I'm trying to box blade it. Well, I have an idea how to level the box blade out, and this same issue applies to the landscape rake as well. Uh, as the tractor goes, like if this is the landscape rake out here, or the box blade, it's going up and down. Hard to grade at level, or I find it hard to grade at level. I'm not an expert operator, by no means. So, I've got an idea how I can try to minimize this tipping. Uh, but the other issue that I have is I want to, to quickly adjust the height uh, or a set point for the draft on the three-point tractor. And because there's no uh, built-in mechanism like that on the tractor, I'm going to try and install a little flagpole that comes off the three-point arms uh, so that I can get an indication of how close I am to grade. So, anyway, having said all that, a long story, and like Buddy says, to make a long story short, get the Reader's Digest version. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm going to take you out and show you my tractor. I'm going to show you the little ID that I have, and then we'll work at that throughout the day here today at the camp, and see how we make out. And at the end of the day, I hope I'll be able to have some sort of an indicator of where my three-point hitch level is at. Most times at the camp, uh, I like to just scrounge around, see what I can find around uh, to make these little mods and changes and doodads that I like to work on. This time though I ended up in town yesterday, uh, we had a regular trip to town and while I was posing around at the Canadian Tire Store I happened to see this quarter inch round uh, bar stock, six foot long, so I thought hey it was only I think seven dollars so I said I'm going to buy that because I might be able to use that for my hitch indicator or my uh, lift indicator, three point lift. So that's what I'm using today so it's not all just ground stuff that I found around the camp. I had to go actually buy some stuff here. But anyway, uh, hopefully the other pieces are just going to be pieces and bits and parts that I scrounge around here and we'll cobble something together to make a three-point hitch height indicator. Let's go have a look at the tractor right now. So there's the rear end of the tractor. The working end as we like to call it. There's a three-point hitch. And when I sit in the cab I'd like to be able to get an indication of what that level is. So what I'm thinking is, I have this little bracket that I did find in the junk drawer. I don't know what that came off of. But I was thinking, right here on the ROPS, where the light is mounted, I can bolt that on there. And then if I can get my quarter inch bar to go down through that as a guide, way right down there, it will hook onto that three point hitch arm, right about there where my foot is. Maybe that would work. We'll see. So there we are. I just put this little bracket on right here. It comes out and my quarter inch rod is through that. 
and I just have it down here just resting on top of the three-point hitch mount Let's see if I can find it right there so and I'm able to adjust this little bracket enough so that that's pretty darn near vertical right there and it's pretty straight this way too so I'm going to start the tractor raise the three-point hitch and just see how that lines up when it's in the fully up position so there it is fully up it still rests okay here it seems to me if I put a little bit of a washer weld that to that rod <clears throat> and at the back here it still looks pretty vertical I think and not bad that way so I'm going to put a little mark right here right now right there and then I'm going to lower it down again and just see how much of travel I have on here uh, and that way I can uh, put markers on the rod to indicate the level of my three-point hitch and that'll be my draft control my god it looks like this is going to work the uh, three-point hitch is lowered to its lowest point and I have the rod balanced again on the top of that pin and when I measure here from my indicator down to my flag oh man it's hard to get this camera lined up it's uh, seven about seven inches there if you can see that okay so that should be good Whoops. I'll be able to uh, put some paint marks on that and should all work out alright so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to secure that bracket on the ROPS. By the way, that bracket was already on the ROPS, no holes drilled in that. Uh, so I'm not in like impairing the uh, safety features of the ROPS in any way. So I'm going to tighten that bracket up right here. Then I'm going to get a washer, three quarter inch washer or something for down here. And I'm going to weld that on there and then hook that on that pin. We'll stick her in here again and see what happens. So I'm all set up here. I have my washer uh, and I ground the end off the washer kind of flat and dress it up took all the finish off it get to some bare metal and I have my quarter inch rod uh, ground the end of that tapered a little bit I have it set there so I'm going to try to weld that up now so I have my uh, wire feed welder set on four power station number one here we go we're going to try a little spot on it So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tack it there, flip it over, tack the other side, and then I put a, try to put a bead all the way around it, and then that should hold that good. And then I can set that back in there in that pin, and then we can uh, maybe cut the end off the bar because I think my rod is a little too long. All right, I'm just going to show you my uh, weld here, <laughs> and it's not because I'm bragging. <laughs> it's a long ways from bragging. Uh, but anyways, I managed to stick enough metal on that to have that washer stick to, my, to the end of this rod. <laughs> it ain't pretty, boys, but it's on there. Okay, now I'm going to mount her back on the tractor. So there it is. Look at that, boys, the final product. It's, uh, I got it all painted up. It took an extra little while to paint it for the paint to dry, I guess. So this is, uh, I thought it would be a day-long project, but here it is the second day. And we're just finishing it up. So, uh, like I showed earlier, we have her tied in down here in this pin. And that flops back and forth there, no problem, no restrictions. And up here, I've got the bottom here. And then the various different markings from the bottom right up there to the top. Which, in this case, this would be the maximum up of the three point and the maximum down and if we come around here and look in the cab normally when I'm sitting in my seat I'll be looking out this direction at the flag and I'm not sure if you can see it too good there but I've got uh, uh, numbers on the uh, increments uh, I put them every inch 
although the inches don't relate to anything as far as the uh, the uh, implement on the three-point hitch being like one inch from the ground that's got nothing to do with it. Uh, it those are just indicators so that I'll say oh I have to run it at four and a half on the gauge to be at the height that I want and that way every time I go to lower or position my implement on the three-point then uh, I can get it repeated. So I think this is going to work all right. I like it. Turned out nice. So another little project from the Grampy's workshop and it was a pretty simple one really uh, and it worked out well. I had the parts I needed. I had to buy that quarter inch rod but other than that I think she's going to work out good boys. And uh, this is uh, going to be a replacement for uh, well not a replacement. On this tractor I don't have a draft gauge like I can't set my draft to repeat the the settings it'll only the three point will only go up or down so this way I can repeat my settings it'll be set there and I'll be able to do my landscape breaking and my snow blowing and my box plating and it'll be just dandy anyways like and subscribe and uh, make some comments I'd like to hear your comments of what's what you think of this little job and we'll talk to you later